Hey everybody, Jacob Scott, Lawrence product expert. Today we're out here on the water and we're gonna talk a little bit about the Hook Reveal homepage layouts and the features you use on it. So let's go ahead and kick right into this. So if, right now we're looking at a chart and a sonar screen. To get to our homepage, we hit the Pages key. Now these show up just a lot like app icons do on your cell phone. You use your directional pad to move around and then you can go up to the top for your settings, your waypoints, your storage if you had a card in here with either a software update or if you wanted to save screenshots that you've taken you would go into your storage for that. When you hit settings if you go to enter here as you can see this brings you up to things like your system where you set up your boat layout. You can set up things like key beeps. If I didn't want to hear the key beeps I arrow over to there hit the enter key and then I could go up and I could say off and now as I move around, you don't hear the key beeps. Some people like them, some people don't. So um, as far as your navigation screen, you can set arrival radiuses, things like that. When you look at the chart screen, this is where you look at your different chart sources. Here, as you can see, we're using the CMAP US Inland Map. If I had a Navionics card in here, I would want to arrow down and use the Navionics section of this. So you could set range rings, grid lines. With the waypoints, routes, and trails turned on, that means I want to see those. Now here's one feature I usually turn on that I really like. This is called the course extension. I've arrowed down to it, I hit enter, and that turns it on. So now, when I'm on a chart page, based on the speed we're traveling and things like that, I'll have a line in front of my boat that shows me directions where I'm going, and essentially, if I'm trying to line up on a waypoint or something like that, it'll help me do that. So right now, the extension length is set to one mile. If I hit enter, you can see you can change it to a time frame or a distance. So, you know, one mile, 10 miles, or how far I'm going to travel in one minute, two minute, 10 minutes. A lot of times I'll have it set on 10 minutes so that I can kind of see based on that. Uh, really, it's just going to be a personal preference on how far you set that. So, um, sonar, again, you go in here, you can look at your sonar logs, set your transducers. As far as alarms, what alarms are enabled, some people set shallow water alarms or deep water alarms, any of that stuff that you want to do, you set that in here. As far as units, you go in here and you tell the unit if you want it to use feet, miles, mile per hour, or if you want to use the metric system, meters, um, kilometers, uh, kilometers per hour, and that sort of things. So those are your basics. When we look at it, if I wanted to go to a chart, sonar, arrow over the sonar, hit the enter button. We wanted to look at down scan, same thing. You just arrow to it, hit the enter button, and it's going to take you to that screen. So in a nutshell, that's how you use your home pages on your hook reveal units.